Hello, I'm Pat Lemoyne, and I'm against being annexed by the city of Burien. Uh, I've been active on the uh, vote no on annexation side, and I've been uh, started off fixing a bunch of signs, and I got some signs. I've actually been active in putting some of them up. And uh, in the process of driving around fixing signs and finding signs in bushes and knocked over and weather damage and so on and so forth, I've been keeping kind of an eye on the whole area for how much how many signs we have and then at the same time noticing all the signs the uh, the uh, vote yes annexation people have up and uh, over a little over a 24 hour period I noticed the amount of signs just jumped up drastically first there was a whole batch of uh, signs on stakes go up Myers way and in through my neighborhoods around here and uh, huh that's interesting and the uh, next morning, I get a call from a local business who wanted to remain neutral, is against being annexed, but wanted to keep their business neutral just because of the clientele they have. And got a call going, I just got a sign thrown up in front of my business, and I want one of your signs up here too, because I want to get, uh, still keep the neutral standing. And I'm really disgusted these people put this here. Uh, so can I get one of yours? Like, okay, so I hopped in the car and I drove up and uh, in the process of putting our sign right next to theirs, and I'm looking at this, and the owner comes out and we're talking, and uh, they point out over across the street, there's another one on a telephone pole, I'm looking at this going, isn't this illegal? And I made a call, and sure enough it is, and I was asked to take some pictures, so I had an iPod, and I'm going around, and uh, started taking pictures of all these signs up on all these uh, telephone poles and street signs and even on trees and they're using these big Hurricane industrial staples and all and I, you know it's just like wow within a 24-hour period the number of signs for the uh, pro annexation sign literally doubled and I noticed them all the way from uh, uh, Des Moines Memorial Drive all the way over to the uh, west side of uh, White Center uh, all the way into Burien uh, by where Albertson is and Goodwill and back down Ambalm and all the side streets. I mean these things were everywhere. Um, so anyway, like I said, the signs literally double uh, within about a 24 hour period. And I found it interesting because I uh, ended up uh, looking in the blogs and whatnot, and all of a sudden I noticed there's this big call from the pro-annexation side that we didn't do it. It's not us. Somebody ended up taking our signs, pulling out the wire stakes, got a bunch of them, and then went around and started stapling up all over. <laughs> It's laughable. Come on. There were so many signs going up. What, what do you think that somebody did went out and got some of yours printed and all and then put them up? I mean, the story's just ridiculous. Uh, so anyway, that was my side of the story. I saw these things all over and including I, the ones that they actually, there was a bunch that got put up actually on the wire stakes plus the ones stapled to all the trees. And one of the things I found is like, Here's a sign I put up the day before, and the same day I'm out taking pictures looking at it. Here's a pro annexation sign literally put, look, just a couple inches in front of it. It just, it was, I'm looking at it going, this is just rude. Anyway, I uh, don't mean to rant too much on it, but I just find their story interesting. Uh, it kind of goes on a little bit more in that uh, the same uh, store owner, uh, the next day I'm driving around and I noticed uh, both signs were missing in front of the business so I went in and uh, talked to the business owner and they presented me with our sign that they had just taken down and said yeah two guys had just come down and ripped off these signs and then they came in here while I had a customer in and they were really forceful trying to get me to say I needed to vote for annexation and they were just being really forceful and kind of rude and all. And basically, like I uh, told the uh, business owners, like, well, from what I've seen, the way they've been treating people, this is kind of what you can expect by joining Burien. Uh, anyway, I won't rant anymore. Uh, thanks for your time. But I uh, just thought, 
you'd like to see some of the pictures and everything of all the crazy stuff that just happened if you had missed it. Uh, and I seriously suggest on this uh, vote coming up, it's uh, this Tuesday, we only have a handful of days left. You might really want to seriously think about what's going on because we got taxes, we got another layer of bureaucracy, uh, just on down the line. I, just so many reasons why I don't think it's a good idea. Anyway, have a great day. I hope you make a wise choice. Check out the, the check out what's going on. Check out and see how Burian is in debt and how they've been handling their finances. There's plenty of videos out there. There's plenty of stuff. Check out the links below for uh, a bunch of connections I'm going to put here. And uh, I'm rambling. So anyway.